Hey guys, in this video I will show you how I painted my Quicksilver for Marvel Crisis Protocol. After it's made up, you'll want to give it a prime with light grey. And then I took a light grey paint and painted all the areas that will be white. So that included his legs and his gloves, uh, his thunderbolt across his chest and belt, and then also his hair. This will give a, um, an undercoat and we'll dry brush with white soon, so instead of adding highlights, which can take more time, we will add the base coat first. So now take a dead white and get an old brush and wash off most of the paint and we'll do a dry brush to pull out the highlights on those same areas. So you'll see how the grey um, is showing all of the shadows and then uh, in this shot you'll see the white hitting the highlights on his hair and gloves as well. Next I took a deep sky blue and the white and painted the rest of his body. The character himself only really has two colours in his clothing. Uh, so we'll do everything else in the blue. Just make sure to be careful around the thunderbolt. You might need a, a new brush to get in all those corners. But you can always paint over it later if you go over the edge. Next take yellow ochre and we'll do the base coat for the explosion. So I went from painting the figure to the explosion back and forth just while one paint dried. So we'll go back to the figure now and do flat blue and I make a wash out of that with by, by adding water. And you'll see here putting it on quite thinly and letting it to sink into all the recesses. And then you should get something like this. And while that dries, we'll move back to the explosion. So you want to have two coats of yellow ochre on it already. And then now you can add the top coat, which will be a sun yellow. Cover everywhere that you had the yellow ochre. And now I made a combination of um, the sun yellow and a clear orange and made a wash from that. So add lots of water to it and then we will colour the whole yellow and let that sink into all the recesses as well. If it becomes too orange just add more water. So I ended up adding a few more drops to it and it ended up like this. So while that dries, you can take some Kislev Flesh and we'll paint his face. So you can water this down a little bit if you want it to go on smoother and keep more detail. And do his face, his ears and his neck. And you should have something like this. Next I took Dead White and I added some highlights to the white areas on his clothing. So where the wash went over the thunder, I went in and brightened it up by going back over all of that. Next I took just clear orange and I uh, did some dry brushing on all of the points on the flames. So all of the peaks, you can give the tips just a little bit of a dry brush. And then while that's drying, I take sepia wash and cover his face. Then I went back to the flame and got some bloody red. And again go painting the, uh, the peaks, but this time just do a little bit less. So dry brushing on over all the orange that we just did, but doing a little bit less. And then to finish off the peaks, I got a little bit of black and just add a spot to the top of each, just dry brushing again. Okay. 
And then I took some Kislev flesh again, and the wash made his face quite dark, sinking into the recesses, so I just went in and brought out some highlights on his cheeks, uh, his forehead and his nose. And now we want to do the base, so uh, we take a medium grey and paint all of the concrete. and also the rock that he is standing on and there's also some little rocks within the explosion too so don't forget about them and when it's done it should look something like this if you need to pause to see where all of the rocks are you can look at this or you can find a photo on the internet next take some non oil when the grey is all properly dry and wash over all of the concrete and rocks. And when that's dry we take some white and then give it a dry brush over all of the concrete and stones again. and you should have something that looks like this. Then take some black, find a nice thick brush with a good point, and we'll go around the edge. I usually do two coats for this. And that is the miniature done. If you want to add some protection to it, I use a Vallejo matte varnish. So you can shake that up well and then uh, paint the whole figure. I find one coat is usually enough, but you can do more if you like. And this is the outcome. If you want to see more photos like this one on Instagram, you can follow me at miniaturejohnny. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.